after a two-month hiatus in the NASCAR Coca-Cola Cup Series, we finally returned to racing for the Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte, North Carolina. Hi everyone, Rylan Webb here as we are getting set for race number six of season one as we are ready to go back to racing here. The two-car Vandal Devlogger is the pole sitter right next to NASCAR Gamer. Here's your standings after a wild race at Watkins Glen which saw the number 48 from Hendrick Motorsports, Michael Isbell, becoming the winner of that race, as here's the rest of your point standings after Watkins Glen, and we are ready to race here at this oval racetrack, as they call it the Charlotte Motor Speedway. This is not a race that we are celebrating the people on Memorial Day, but it is a race to determine on who will go to the playoffs. But now we're going to take a look at the Mountain Dew driver headlines as we're going to take a look back at the Watkins Glen race from the NASCAR Coca-Cola Cup Series as we saw the 17 and the 10 car spinning around on the final lap causing the 48 and Michael Isbell to win the race. The winner at Watkins Glen looks to dominate the playoffs as he will go for a second win of the season. Our next driver coming up right here is this still Michael Isbell's looking to become the winner of Charlotte as now we're turning our attention to NASCAR Gamer, the pole sitter at Charlotte and a runner up in a few races. Even when he lost the Daytona 500 to Gavin Beers, can he win from the pole to get his first victory? And Carey Price, the current points leader, wants to race into Charlotte and keep his points lead until the end here as we are going to race once again here at Charlotte. It's now time to get ready for the command to start the engines here at Charlotte. Drivers, start your engines! Finally, the NASCAR Coca-Cola Cup Series returns to racing as here's your Domino's starting lineup for today's race. NASCAR Gamer takes the pole along with the two-car Evandel Thevlogger. Row 2, we have the 3 of Logan Ambition and the 9 of Lively Stop Motions. Row 3, we have the FedEx Ground Fan 2022 in the 20 car and the 23 of Rolando Airola. The 14 car of the Applebee's Cup Series in row 4 along with his teammate Kevin Harvick Fan Forever. Row 5 is the A car of Deegan Mayen and the Watkins Glen winner Michael Isbell. Now as we're going into row 6, the 21 car of Zachy Seven and the 22 of Mr. Randomness. Row 7 we have the 99 of Jet Thompson and the 1 car of Hugo Gon Calvez. And the 47 of Melissa Isbell in row 8, along with the 34 car of Greg Ritter. Row 9 is the 77 of Louie Thompson and the 6 car, the Daytona 500 champion, Gavin Beers. And row 10, we have the 11 of Rock Hill Racing, the Bristol winner, and along with the 10 of Dark Crypto, who lost to the number 17 and 48 car at Watkins Glen. Row 11 is the 37 of Dwayne Smith and the 41 of Judson Thompson. Row 12 is the 88 car of Conrad Mayen and the 19 of Austin DeLuca. And now here is the row 13 as we have Carey Price, the current pole sitter, or points leader, excuse me, and the five car of the Auto Trader Cup Series. Row 14 is the 43 of Austin Poe Ryer and the 17 of Josh Lee. And in row 15, finally, we have the NASCAR Fan 95 in row 15. We are underway with racing here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Green flag is in the air. NASCAR Gamer taking the lead as they're going down the back stretch. A few cars going single file or two by two as now here they come down in turn three and four. NASCAR Gamer takes over the pack here at Charlotte Motor Speedway as now he's going over into turns one and two. 
The two of Vandal Club Logger in second, the three of Logan Ambition, the nine of Lily Stop Motions, the Richmond winner. Oh, look at that, three wide for second place here at Charlotte Motor Speedway, and the nine of Lively Stop Motions takes the lead here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. This is incredible for the nine of Lively Stop Motions. Now it's a three wide in the back right there. Oh, smoke, we see smoke coming from the 22 of Mr. Randomness. He is going into pit road, and that's gotta be it for the 22's day here as now our new leader is the two of uh, Vandal Thavlogger and the 14 of Alvarez Cup Series is in second place. I was unable to see if how the two got the lead, but lap four as now. Here they come. Here comes Lively Stop Motions. And now as they're going down to the start finish line, lap five here. Oh, and they make contact. The nine of Lively Stop Motions makes contact with the two. They spin around. NASCAR Gamers involved as well. So many cars in the wall, and Caution has come out here on lap five at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And let's take a look at the Pepsi crash replay. After that contact was made between the nine of Lively Stop Motions, yet Lively Stop Motions just gets into the two of Vandal Thevlogger, spinning him around. And then there goes the 24 and the 20 car of the FedEx ground fan in the wall as well. And Lively Stop Motions, NASCAR Gamer, and the FedEx Grand Fan are right onto the backstretch sitting there. They will not continue into the race as there's also Fandle Thevlogger, who is his car has stopped also on the turns. And here is the 22 of Mr. Radmanis on pit road. And the three car of Logan Ambition and the 14 of the Applebee's Cup Series may have gotten contact. They did. They've gotten contact with that wreck over in the backstretch over as now they will be uh, restarting into the back. Excuse me. So they'll be restarting into the back here as now we are ready to restart the 21 of Zaki 7. The eight car of Deegan Mayen, they will both lead the field back to the green flag here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. The 21 of Zaki 7 leading us there now down the back stretch. The eight car of Deegan Mayen in second, the four of Kevin Harvick Fan Forever in third. Now Kevin Harvick Fan Forever is making the pass as now here they go down to the start finish line as now. Single file from the top three cars as they are now on lap eight. Now here they come three wide. Here comes Rolando Arola. And now the 21 of Zaki 7 falling back to Kevin Harvick fan forever. And Rolando Arola. Rolando Arola is the new leader. Here they come down to the start finish line once more. Lap nine out of 12. Only just a few laps to go in this race. As now, here they go, down the back stretch. Rolando Arola taking the lead from 2311 Racing. Here they go. Michael Isbell, the Watkins Glen winner. He's going to get turned by the 23 of Rolando Arola. Caution is out here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway as it was not a great day for Michael Isbell to get his second victory of the NASCAR Coca-Cola Cup Series as, let's take a look at the replay, he took the lead over the 23 of Orlando Arola, and then the 23 makes contact and then spins him around at the Charlotte Motor Speedway on the front stretch. And involved in the wreck is the 48 of Michael Isbell, and he will not be able to get his second victory as I say this again. So, we are coming back to the green flag in just a matter of moments. And when we come back to racing, we will go to two laps to go for racing here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. And now we are ready to go back to the green. Green flag is back in the air here at Charlotte. Kevin Harvick, fan forever, takes the lead. Now to the inside is the 34 of Greg Ritter and the outside is the 23. Three wide for the lead here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Kevin Harvick, then forever, losing first place right here. White flag, one lap to go. Greg Ritter takes the lead, and he's going to spin around. Around he goes into the wall. Caution has come out here as it is now the race is over. The next flag ends the race 
as they went to the white flag and let's look at the cra Pepsi crash replay. The four just trying to get to the inside of the 34 and then spins him around thus ending the 34 of Greg Ritter's chance to becoming a winner. Kevin Harvick burns it down here with Sunoco fueling victories. But now we're going to take a look at your standings, your top 12 drivers in the standings after Charlotte here. Greg Ritter was unable to finish this race as he is now in a DNF here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. But what a great race here as Kevin Harvick fan forever ends it as... He is a first-time winner in the NASCAR Coca-Cola Cup Series. And we like to thank you guys so much for watching this next race. And um, thank you so much for watching this race, I mean. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the NASCAR Coca-Cola Cup Series. And our next race, we will be at NASCAR's biggest track and the most wild one in the NASCAR circuit. The Talladega Super Speedway. Who will survive the big one and who will conquer the track? As we will go to Talladega next time, I am Rylan Webb. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time from the NASCAR Coca-Cola Racing Network. Once again, this is Rylan Webb signing off from Charlotte Motor Speedway.